Uh, in this video, I will give you some additional information uh, related to uh, registration memory for some people who are uh, not uh, who are beginner in this uh, field, or some people who actually didn't uh, yet think about those functionality in registra registration memory. No. Now, uh, I have here a registration banks. So in one registration banks, I have 10 position for registration memory. Now, in this bank, you can see everything is uh, uh, that is blue light because I did memorize on each position some kind of the style. But now, if I'm creating a new registration bank here and I didn't memorize anything there yet, now light is off. There is no light. When is going to be light? When I choose style, if I choose style, press memory and memorize that style to this position. Now I have memorized that. And uh, now if I memorize to a second position, to a third, to fourth position, now you can see I'm getting those blue colors. This is chosen style, it's orange. Uh, I'm, I'm in chosen uh, registration memory and those are memorized and those are empty registration memory. Now. If, I w if you want to work on those registration memories, if you want to erase them, you will just go press registration bank here, both buttons. You will choose that registration memory, go to menu, registration bank, edit, and you can now delete them again to free that space. And now uh, I can save them, save to that position, same name, yes. And now when I go back, you will see whatever I did delete, it is, there is no any more blue light. Now, now just here I have blue light because that is only position in that registration bank that is saved. Uh, now I will explain you some meaning of those memories in a registration memory of those things that you can choose and you can memorize. So. As you can see here information, all those functions here you can memorize inside of a registration memory. In You can choose whatever you want to memorize here, you can memorize. Now, let us say, if you want to uh, make songbook and you want to memorize just style, you can memorize style, just style, like I did in many of my songs that I made for songbook. Now you can see, uh, just a moment, uh, when I go, I, I will not save anything. If I go to my, uh, oh, that those are, uh, okay. Let me go to my, uh, yeah. Let us say, uh, go back. Registration banks, okay. Now at, I'm in a registration bank. I will choose bank 41, registration bank 41. I will go back and see which, which songs do I have here. I don't have any song here. Let me bank 42. Yeah, I have some songs here or bank 43. Yes, I have songs. Now you can see that I have here my styles, my songs. I uh, did save only uh, those styles, those songs because I made those styles specific for those songs. So I didn't have any uh, need to save uh, any, any uh, sound. I just saved style. But if you want, if you are making, for example, a registration bank for only one song, in this case, you can save uh, voices as well, different voices on different positions. You can save a uh, change of tempo if you want, or, or if you need, for example, if you have song and inside of that song, you have change of the tempo, then you have to choose that position for voice and tempo and you have to uh, save it with each part of that registration bank. In this case, you can switch from one tempo to another tempo inside of the song. You have to save tempo for each part. If you don't save it, if you just save it for one part, if you jump to the next part, it will keep previously saved tempo and it will not change another tempo. Whenever you want a new tempo, you have to change new tempo on that part. If you need new transpose, you have to change new transpose for each part where you need that transpose. 
Let us say, for example, if you have duet with a female voice, then you can save first four variation, uh, first four registration, you can save it variation A, B, C, D in one key, and now you can save another four uh, registration memories with uh, uh, variation A, B, C, D with another key. So those first four will be for male, another will be for female singer. So in this case, you have to uh, choose transpose or you can save transpose with every song th where you need transpose. If you don't need transpose, then don't save transpose. Uh, now, what is it live control? A live control are those is this part of the keyboard where you can do some mixing some changes so if we have for example style that is too quiet comparing to other styles then we can uh, here mix that style and make uh, that volume equal to another songs that we have in the keyboard and then when we mix it we change some volume we change some pan or some things then in this case we can save that live control for that style and solo instruments as well, whatever we want to save there. Then we will save live control. In this case, we can make sure that all songs or all registration memory, they are in same level. If there is quiet style, we will increase level. If there is a, a loud style, we will just decrease level of parse, whatever is loud. And then we will save it with this checked live control. So it is same with all those functions. Whatever function you need inside of that registration memory, you can save it. You will not do anything wrong if you save everything. But uh, sometimes you don't need uh, everything because if, for example, to me, if I am making my songbook, I don't want to save my voices. I don't want because uh, when I'm changing from song to song sometimes, uh, yeah, I want to keep same voice if I'm playing one guitar and I want to uh, change just style or my song, but I want to keep same guitar. In this case, whatever I had previously, it will stay if I don't choose this function. That's why there is option for you to save it or not save it. Think a little bit about that. When you are making new registration memory, think what do you need inside of that registration memory and how it will behave uh, when you press that re registration memory, what is going to be changed. Then you can engage that function or disengage that function. So, and you can see those functions. I don't need to read them. Uh, you understand what they mean. Uh, if you need some help, if you are really beginner, I suggest to you, uh, Take some time and read manual. Uh, read at least uh, basic function and you will understand something. Whatever you don't understand, you will find that there is a lot of things on YouTube. So there is further explanation about uh, uh, using registration memory. For Korg users, I just want to say that registration memory, uh, if you are not familiar with Genus and you want to know what is this, it is something that is in Korg world called a songbook. It's similar to a songbook. Uh, I think that uh, I have I have feeling that I have more control over songbook in Korg, but there is plenty of control in Genus as well with those registration memories. So they are trying just to get same function on different way. So that's why, as I mentioned in some previous video, whenever you have some keyboard, new keyboard, think how to use possibility of that keyboard. So think on Yamaha way if you are uh, dealing with Genus. Think on Korg way if you are uh, dealing with Korg keyboards. But we have sometimes to compare some similarities between those keyboards because there's a lot of people who are asking themselves, what if I play uh, that uh, another brand of the keyboard? They want to know how actually it works. Sometimes they want just to change something in their life because they are tired of playing on one thing or using one thing. Uh, there is uh, a lot of people who are just, uh, they stick with one brand, with one keyboard. They have uh, that brand of the keyboard in their ears and whatever they hear, it is strange for them and they cannot get rid of that sound that they have in their ears and they want to go with this. That's why it's a good idea from time to time, uh, go to explore 
play on another keyboards like uh, in the previous uh, several years I uh, played Korg for a long period of time I had Korg in my ears but uh, in the last 10 years I am playing every kind of instrument so I'm not any addicted to any kind of the sound I just enjoy every of them on different way I play every of them uh, so and I can see the uh, strengths and weakness uh, in every of the brand and uh, any kind of the music that you play uh, will give you uh, some benefits from each of those keyboards so it will be really different it is uh, like uh, if you play Stratocaster or Gibson guitars uh, you have to play instrument that is more dedicated to a particular, a particular time of the music and uh, it is something that you, your personal taste, something that you uh, it will give you more motivation, kind of sound that will give you more motivation in your performing. So that's why it is really not possible to compare them if uh, we are talking about taste for the sound. Thank you very much for watching this video and hopefully uh, you, got, you got some uh, information that you maybe missed somehow.